Namaste. Today we are going to do full moon meditation. Ashadha Purnima. This meditation happens around mid of July when Surya is in Mithunarashi and Chandra is in Dhanu Rashi in the nakshatras of Urva or Uttara Ashadha. This meditation is a part of series that we can do every year, tuning ourselves to the cosmic karmic flow of subtle energies that we can become aware and realize their importance in our lives. If you are in the southern or in the northern hemisphere, these meditations are connected to the stars. So the seasons in the planet doesn't affect this showering of stellar energies, sidereal energies. So welcome to one more sidereal spiritual healing karmic meditations. And if you like this meditation, every new moon, Amavasya, and full moon, Purnima, you can do in the playlist, the meditation of that period. Now we can start the meditation. Namaste. Om. Let's become aware of the breath. Here comes in and comes out to and from the body. Let's become aware of the environment. There is temperature, there is sound, there is humidity. Just become aware and present in what it is in this world. Let's become aware of the sky above the head, above the ceiling, above the construction. Just let the mind expand to the abode of the stars.
today we are going to receive the blessings of the stars. Once again, take a breath in and out. Observe the air moving out. Let go any effort, tension that is not necessary right now. In the back, in the neck, in the face, any place in the body. Let's breathe in and release the air for the mouth. As the body release unnecessary strain, a natural state of relaxation returns. Relaxation returns after we release unnecessary efforts from our lives. So let's breathe in. <sighs> and release. Become aware of any kind of big mountain that you in your life you have went through. A big mountain of a profession, a personal challenge, a health issue, emotional distress or trauma. Let's become aware of any big mountain that we had to climb in our lives. As we become aware of this hardship A little bit of strain in the breath, in the muscles, might come. It's a natural response of the body to the tension in the mind. Observe this tension. Let it be. Not every tension is harmful to the system. Observe the breath. See how it changes. As we become aware of the tensions, prana once again flows in the system. The 
the system is not actually relaxed, but there is tension with energy moving within the tension. Observe this awkward situation. And once again, just let the air come and leave. Now, the mountain of the challenge of the stress, of the tension, time is moving through this process. The biggest cooker of karma is passing Situations, emotions, feelings, thoughts, memories, beliefs. As we climb this mountain, observe that in life, Sometimes there are hardships. And where, while we climb these hardships, let's open ourselves to some upliftment. Observe the upliftment of purpose in the challenge. The bag loading stress, the need of effort makes us feel tired with our chin moving downwards to the chest. With a divine stick in the spine, purpose sustains our body. Open yourself to some divine light shining in the spine. At the same time, there is the load of effort in the back, and in the same time, there is divine upliftment of purpose in the spine.
Now we are here, climbing the mountain. With the same external distress, but embedded with um, angelical wings of presence. with purpose. Realize the relation between stress and purpose. From one side there is the need of the effort. On the other side, we have purpose. And the balance of purpose is higher than the effort the experience of stress is not there even if tons of effort are charging one side If the other is bringing us prana, divine prana, to the plate of purpose, then the relation of stress is absent. Observe this within you. Let's open ourselves to the glory of purpose. Let's take one step forward. And let's realize the relation of purpose and wisdom. Let the mind bring any memory where we were facing hardships and some person, some book, some bird, some wind 
whispered you some wisdom. Observe the aha moment. In the moment that we open ourselves to the spiritual wisdom, the showering of purpose entered our spine. It might enter from the top of the head, and it might enter from the center of the chest. It might enter from several places. Just observe wisdom showering purpose in the system. As we open ourselves to divine wisdom, spiritual teachers, spiritual teachings, spiritual things, places, events, start to be available for our consciousness. Every atom in the universe is ready to donate spiritual wisdom to our life. As this can be kind of metaphysical, <laughs> let's bring to the mind any kind of memory, thought of a spiritual person, teacher, situation. Where we felt aggressiated with some sensation that a shower of wisdom is cleansing unnecessary stress of our lives. The presence of spiritual guidance in a form of a teacher or in a more energetic form. Is Enlivening the spine. With the divine. Instrument. Of purpose.
As the spine becomes illuminated by the presence of the sword, the angelical sword of light, of purpose. The efforts in life are purposeful. Glory to the spiritual teachers. Glory to the spiritual guidance that blesses us with divine wisdom. To any and every spiritual guidance that we have received, let's offer some deep, genuine, sincere reverations to this. north to this lighthouse that is making our journey to the harbor safer. The harbor is divine presence, God. The lighthouse is Guru in a form of an incarnated spiritual teacher, in a form of a ancient person in your village, in a form of a book. The Guru Tattva, the principle of lighthouse in our journey, can be manifested to you by several doors. As we get in touch, a natural feeling of love blossoms in our heart. If there is some tears coming, let it flow. These are the tears 
that the angels hmm. these are the tears that angels feel deep presence of spiritual upliftment these are the nectar of spirituality the love that blossoms in the heart by the guidance received in all the forms that he can reach you here we are being thankful to all light that this lighthouse has emanated to us And by the love that we feel, by this gratitude, we open ourselves a little bit more to the divine guidance. Showering presence through our egos and making our ego again healthy as a drop of water in the ocean of existence. Glory to all the spiritual teachers. Om Gurave Namah. Om Gurave Namah. Om Gurave Namah. Om Gurave Namah Guru Om
namo narayana guru om namo narayana guru om namo narayana guru om namo narayana om gurave namah 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 guru om namo narayana guru om namo narayana guru om namo narayana ya guru om namo narayana om gurave namah 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 om gurave Om gurave namah Om gurave namah guru Om namo narayana guru Om namo narayana guru om namo narayana guru om namo narayana
Let's once again become aware of the sky above our heads, a boat of stars. back and we become aware of the environment around us, the sounds, the temperature, the humidity, the pressure. Let's become aware of the breath. If you're rather to stay meditating for more five, ten minutes, Or if you rather to lay down and rest. Just feel. Drop your head. Feel what is appropriate for this moment. and release into divine presence.
for joining this meditation reverence to the spiritual guidance Namaste. we see you again in the next meditation you want to share this meditation with any friends, any person that you feel that was and is important in your spiritual journey, please, please be free to do so.